Our next speaker is Akane Ota. She is a master student in the Department of Forestry and Natural Resources, working with Dr. Jeffrey Dukes in the college. Akane is from Japan, but she hates wasabi, that little green spicy thing that's always served with sushi. Since she grew up on the Pacific side of Japan, she so misses surfing and fishing. Certainly something that's very difficult to get here. The Wabash is not quite the same as the Pacific Ocean. After she came to Purdue, though, she enjoyed bouldering a lot, and she gives a shout out to the Purdue Co-Rec for that. Her title of her presentation is, Can Charcoal Solve Global Warming or Not? One of the possible solutions for global warming is to reduce CO2 emissions. New technologies such as electric vehicles and clean energy are the great potentials. But have you thought about reducing CO2 emissions from soil? Soil has numerous microorganisms and plant roots that are breathing just like us. Therefore, soil is a big system that takes oxygen and releases CO2. This CO2 emissions from soil is very large, approximately 10 times larger than the emissions from human activities. Recently, scientists found a material that could decrease this soil CO2 emissions. It's a charcoal. It's a charcoal just like the one used for barbecue, but much smaller particles. Agricultural scientists originally mixed this charcoal in soil to improve crop growth. But later on, soil scientists found that this charcoal calms down microorganisms, and therefore they release less CO2. After they found this remarkable potential for global warming, there have been a lot of charcoal studies across the world. But soil is very sensitive to weather. When soil is wet from rain, it tends to release more CO2 because microorganisms are very active. On the other hand, dry soil doesn't release much CO2. Therefore, rain pattern determines how much CO2 soil releases. This rain pattern, though, is becoming more extreme towards the future because of climate change. We will get more heavy rain events and the duration between rainfalls will be longer in the future. And I thought, if the rain pattern greatly affects soil CO2 emissions, but it will be different in the future, then will charcoal have the same effect on the future extreme rain pattern? So I did an experiment. I manipulated extreme rain pattern in a field by setting up the roof to exclude all the natural rain and control water input in soil. I mixed charcoal and monitored soil CO2 emissions last year. I found that under current rain pattern, charcoal addition decreased soil CO2 emissions, which is consistent with the existing studies. However, under extreme rain pattern, charcoal addition increased soil CO2 emissions. This was surprising. Turco addition had totally opposite effect under a different rain pattern. My finding indicates that in the future, with more extreme rain pattern, charcoal may not be able to keep its ability to suppress soil CO2 emissions. It may even accelerate global warming by increasing soil CO2 emissions. Therefore, there is an urgent need to understand why this happened, if this could happen in other ecosystems as well, and rethink about the charcoal use under future climate. Thank you. Our second place is Akane Ota. Can charcoal solve global warming or not? And that one wins $250. 